evening students my name is d jayalakshmi vocational trainer i am working from dr b r ambedkar gurukulam ungrad mehta at palakonda okay students today we learn about the topic of sectors of green economy the sectors of green economy first we will we will learn about the topic of what is green economy first we will learn about the topic of green economy what is green economy a green economy is one which promotes development while making sure that environment is protected the term of green economy was first coined in 1989 report from the government of united kingdom by a grouping of leading environmental economists a a sector can be described as a part of function of the economy every economy has a many sectors for example agriculture automotive constructions transportations and healthcare and different sectors of economy to make the economy green or environmental friendly there are some sectors where major changes can be made the sectors of green economy are all concerned about the environmental related terms first one is the environmental related terms first one is the ecosystem what is ecosystem all the living organisms all the living organisms in a particular area and non living environment with which the organisms interact such as air minerals soil water sunlight together from an ecosystem once i will repeat again what is ecosystem all the living organisms in a particular area and non living environment with which with which the organisms interact such as air mineral soil water sun and sunlight together from an ecosystem to understand how organisms and their surroundings are closely linked to each other let us take an example an example of birds eating berries from a tree the seed inside the berry comes out with the birds droppings it falls into the soil and germinates it the it then grows into a new tree the produces more berries we can see how plants animals soil air and water are linked to each other linked to each other next one food what is food chain what is food chain food chain is a cycle of nature food chain is a cycle of nature where food is produces by a green plants where produced by a green plants plants are consumed by plant eating animals plants are consumed by plant eating animals herbivores 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 may get herbivores may get eaten by flesh eating animals herbivores may get eaten by pl- eaten by flesh eating animals carnivores is called carnivores dead plants and animals are decomposed by decomposes into soil which in turn feeds plants which with which in turn feeds plants once once i will repeat again what is food chain food chain is a cycle in nature where food is produced by green plants plants are consumed by plant eating animals plants are consumed by plant eating animals called herbivores herbivores may get eaten by flesh eating animals carnivores dead plants and animals are decomposed by decomposers into a soil which win the 
feeds which which in turn feeds plants next next we will learn about what is sustainable development what is sustainable development sustainable means sustainable means what is good is good for the economy what is good for the economy as well as the future of the environment future of the environment sustainable means what is good for the economy as well as future of the environment for example natural farming without using chemical fertilizers which the permanently harm the soil which were permanently harm the soil once i will repeat again what is sustainable development sustainable means what is good for the economy as well as the future of the environment for example natural farming sustainable managed forest can continue to support communities and ecosystems without damaging the environment and climate reduce reduce reuse and recycle paper so that the paper trees are cut okay avoid avoid buying products such as the ivory which we can get only by harming animals by only those products which are collected safely such as honey collected without breaking behaves behaves okay for students we will learn about the next topic what is important sectors of green economy what are what are sectors of green important sectors of green economy first one is the agriculture first one is agriculture second one is energy resources third one is constructions and fourth one is fisheries fifth one is forestry and sixth one is tourism and seventh one is transportation and eighth one is the water management and ninth one is the waste management and tenth one is manufacturing okay first we will learn about the what is agriculture sector important sector of green economy agriculture refers to growing crops agriculture refers to growing crops for our food it is the largest part of our economy and the most important it provides us with food agriculture may harm the environment by over using land resources over using land resources resources and cutting forests and cutting forests and polluting air water and land by using harmful chemical fertilizers and pesticides and fertilizers and pesticides what can we do and what can we do some lo- support local organic and natural farming natural farming without use harmful fertilizers and pesticides grow our own vegetables if possible if possible eat in the season and locally produced food eat in season and locally produced food energy and second one is the energy resources we use we use energy for all our daily functions but our demand is the increased by day by day okay the common energy resources such as oil coal gas etc are harmful to health and the environment they are also limited and non renewable non renewable what can we do select the click the clean renewable energy sources like solar lights solar lights whenever possible avoiding wasting electricity avoiding wasting electricity turn off the lights 
and unplugged applications when you are not using them avoid cars and use cycles public transport public transport okay we will learn the what what is construction sector. construction is buildings affect global resources and climate use of sand and stones cause causes deconstruction of river beds and quarrying in mountains these activities these activities cause landslide earthquakes and destruction due to due to flooding construction activities construction activities also cause a pollution and breathing problems and breathing problems in correctly designed in correctly designed buildings needed more air conditioning and electric lights waste more water and use more energy overall okay next what can we do what can we do the, these problems are avoided ever energy efficient energy efficient are green buildings save electricity and water and use clean energy like solar and wind energy like solar and wind energy we need to use cleaner energy in our buildings and avoid wastes of energy we should talk to people about the advantage about the advantage of using local construction materials local construction materials if a large scale construction project is causing pollution we should inform the local authorities about them we can local authorities about them and third one sector is fisheries third one is the fisheries over fishing over fishing has led to de depl depletion of future fish the clean renewable energy sources like solar lights solar lights whenever possible avoiding wasting electricity avoiding wasting electricity turn off the lights and unplug applications when you are not using them avoid cars and use cycles public transport public transport okay we will learn the what what is construction sector. construction is buildings affect global resources and climate use of sand and stones cause causes deconstruction of river beds and quarrying in mountains these activities these activities cause landslide earthquakes and destruction due to due to flooding construction activities construction activities also cause a pollution and breathing problems and breathing problems in correctly designed in correctly designed buildings needed more air conditioning and electric lights waste more water and use more energy overall okay next what can we do what can we do the, these problems are avoided ever energy efficient energy efficient are green buildings save electricity and water and use clean energy like solar and wind energy like solar and wind energy we need to use cleaner energy in our buildings and avoid wastes of energy we should talk to people about the advantage about the advantage of using local construction materials local construction materials if a large scale construction project is causing pollution we should inform the local authorities about them we can local authorities about them 
and third one sector is fisheries sector is fisheries overfishing has led to the depletion depletion of future fish supplies some species of sharks totalize and fish are becoming extinct the will disturb the ecological balance and food chains in our ecosystem this will also cause more dependence on other forms of food causing more pressure on agriculture sectors fishermen may lose their livelihood what can we do we can avoid the problem of overfishing by telling people about sustainable fishing practices which control fishing and provide enough time for fish to breed and multiply if you eat fish by only those which are plentifully available and also in season not during breeding season tourism sector can be great for local economies but not if the harms the environment not if the not if it harms the environment while traveling while traveling travel in groups limit water and energy use and avoid avoid wastes there are the hotels or travel companies which support the eco tourism tourism which protects the environment find out more about them and tell people about how to travel with the harming the environment okay next next sector is transport sector the transport sector consumes maximum petrol and diesel and causes a lot of pollutions the transport sector of green economy aims at using using cleaner fuels like electricity for vehicles providing public transport and promoting cycling promoted cycling describes a uh, use of cars describes to the use of cars okay what can we do use public transport like buses or trains and walkers cycle when possible okay next electric bike vehicles when uh, use yes. electric vehicles if possible okay next sector is water management next sector is the water management water is one of our most important resource billion of people worldwide lack of access to clean drinking tap when you are not using it get to the leaking taps and pipes fixed immediately don't let polluted water don't let polluted water flow back to land or water sources before it gets water waste water treatment okay don't the polluted water follow back and the land our water resources before it gets waste water management okay next sector let's see another sector waste management throwing something away means losing the chance to reuse materials and can lead to land air and water pollution okay what can we do reduce reuse and recycle before throwing away things reduce reuse and recycle before throwing away things okay next separate the waste substance so that some products can be recycled and food waste can be composted okay next next sector is manufacturing industry industries help industries help in employment and economic growth but harm the environment in many ways industries should use methods to avoid and reduce pollution and to use clean sources of energy industries make items
according to what customers prefer to buy industries make items according to what customers refers to buy if you buy a green environment friendly products less plastic clothes made without chemical dyes etc more industries will start making such products okay thank you students